hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc i am back with yet another perfume video today's video is going to be my top 10 summer fragrances of 2023 yes you guys i have my lineup the fragrances that i cannot wait to bask in that i think are absolute bangers these are some beautiful very fruity um womanly very like feminine girly pretty girl type of sense in my tray so if you guys are interested in seeing my top 10 summer fragrances for 2023 then by all means keep on watching if you guys are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers Thank you guys for supporting me. I truly appreciate your support. The first fragrance I'm going to be basking in for this summer is Sunset Hour by Goldfield and Banks. And if you guys have been following me, you know how I feel about Goldfield and Banks. This whole fragrance brand stole my heart, you guys. And I am happy that I have had the chance to explore quite a few fragrances from the range. And this one in particular here, so it's probably one of the most popular ones. But yeah, this is a beautiful, sweet fragrance fruity powdery smelling fragrance you guys it has in notes of quandong desert peach raspberry cashmere wood sandalwood mandarin orange pink pepper jasmine samba benzoin and ginger and you get that whole vibe well what you really get is a mellow sweet fruity um fragrance with the essence of benzoin you definitely get the benzoin mixing with the jasmine because there is a generous dose of sweetness in here so but the sweetness is quite mellow and you get those fruity touches in the top of the fragrance in all its simplicity it is a very warm um sophisticated mellow sweet fruity smelling fragrance you guys it is really really pretty this is a real pretty girl scent that i cannot wait to wear for the this summer this is sunset hour by goldfield and Banks. next up we have a belle de jour by maison christian dior and this fragrance i would say is very very similar to sunset hour both of them have somewhat of a similar feel not a similar scent a similar vibe to it very soft fruity rose powdery scent with the essence of pear and some white peach i think there's some ice cream in here so as well so this is a, like a spritzy sweet powdery fruity fragrance mostly capturing the essence of pear rose and some peach it is beautiful this particular scent when you wear it it kind of creates like a cloud around you a nice fluffy powdery peach and rose scent it is absolutely pretty very clean smelling very it's quite light but when i say light it wears light but the scent profile is quite prominent a beautiful almost shampooy kind of smell i want to say this fragrance comes off it has a shampoo vibe too because it smells a little bit clean but it almost smells like edible like this fragrance actually smells edible it actually smells quite yummy in my opinion so belle de jour is an absolute beauty and you guys know how i feel about my christian dior I cannot wait to bask in this baby right here for this summer season. Next up, we have a Valentino Yellow Dreams, you guys. This is a musky lemon and rose fragrance that smells quite cold. This fragrance smells very refreshing, very pretty. It feels like something that you'd want to drink or sip on on a somewhat cool day you know the sun is shining but you know perhaps you're by the pool deck you know and perhaps the sun the sun is a little bit hidden by the clouds it's still sunny but it's nice and cool and that's the vibe that you get from this fragrance the rose and the musk in here combining with the lemon it is a beautiful combination done like no other okay there's something a bit citrusy um quite of course because of that lemon is citrusy um you definitely pick up the essence of the rose which is makes it quite cold I want to say there's something slight green in here so and like always i would say this fragrance has a beautiful hidden note of jasmine that is like almost like magic in this fragrance it's just the jasmine in this fragrance it kind of marries all of the notes together even though they're not highlighting that you know there's some jasmine in here there has to be some jasmine in here but all i know this is a beautiful refreshing citrusy musky lemon and rose smelling fragrance it's quite simple but quite pretty once again this entire perfume list is going to be a bunch of pretty girl scents you guys and in my opinion valentino yellow dreams is a really simplistic beautiful pretty girl scent 
So this is Yellow Dreams by Valentino. Next up, we have Eden Juicy Apple. You guys, this is the sweetest of them all, the fruitiest of them all, the most playful and flirtatious and flirty of and flirtiest of them all. This is an absolutely beautiful fragrance to wear during the summertime. It's a beautiful scent that can be worn all year round, but it is an absolutely beautiful smelling fragrance. It has in notes of red apple, lychee, black currant, and pink grapefruit middle notes of wild berries raspberry bloom jasmine may rose and the base we have some sugar moss vanilla and some vanilla flower you get the wild berries the lychee the red apples this is a beautiful bright citrusy burst of all the most beautiful juicy berries that you can possibly get dripping in syrup with some sweetness from the vanilla and musk in the base it is a beautiful fragrance that has, even though the, you know, it has a lot of fruity elements in here, there's a slight florally element in the heart that makes this fragrance even more pretty, okay? Can I say how much I love this perfume? This fragrance, again, um, Mona captured this fragrance by the very lipstick that she wore. The lipstick, it was like a bright popping red and it was glassy and shiny. And that's how this fragrance envelops around you when you wear it. That's how it smells when you spray, you know, the scent. That's the vibe that you get a really juicy, bright burst of wild berry, all those citrusy, fruity elements mixing with some vanilla and musk. This is an absolute joy, you guys. I love this fragrance. I want to say this has to be my absolute favorite in this particular lineup my favorite fruity fragrance in my entire perfume collection so this is kylie's eden juicy apple next up we have a jimmy choo i want to you this is a spritzy fruity um florally sweet smelling fragrance in my opinion it has the notes of peach mandarin orange and some middle notes of jasmine with some red lily and in the base we have some vanilla quite simply put this is just a really pretty fragrance it's a it's this is a flirty type of fragrance, but this is a very a pretty girl that doesn't try too hard. Just very light and airy, doesn't take herself too serious, but really pretty. Smiles when you look at her for no reason. You know the type of infectious girl that just always has a pleasant smile. <laughs> This is the vibe that Jimmy Choo gives me, you guys. It's such a beautiful fragrance. I took a while to jump on the bandwagon when it comes to this scent. But oh my God, every time I went out and I smelled it, I was like, oh my God, I have to have it in my collection. It is a beautiful perfume. Absolutely beautiful scent with that essence of the peach. The peach and the mandarin are range in the top is so beautiful, you guys. I love this scent. It, I want to say it has something. I want to say maybe it's a red lily. I find the heart of this fragrance. I quite enjoy smelling it, in my opinion, in all its simplicity, because people think this fragrance is simple. I just think it's such a pretty scent. And, you know, from top to bottom, uh, the whole experience of wearing this fragrance and smelling this fragrance, I think it's such a very beautiful scent, you guys. So, Betty Life, I'm going to be basking in this baby, and I absolutely love the bottle. I am going to be basking in this beautiful fragrance this summer, you guys. Okay. Next up is Paco Rabanne. Bam, you guys, another fragrance that kind of caught me by surprise. Well, actually, no, because it has in mangoes. Okay, again, anything that has in mangoes, it just, it, it calls my name. And when I smell it, I was not disappointed. This is a very tropical, beautiful, fruity, sweet, vanilla smelling fragrance. It has a powdery touch to it, a warm. So it has in notes of mango, of course, mango and bergamot. Middle notes of jasmine, jasmine and albanum. And in the base, you have some vanilla and sandalwood. And that's what you get. I believe, I do believe that there are other notes in this fragrance, but the notes that they highlight is mostly what you get. This is a tropical, sweet, fruity fragrance. A hint of citrusy elements in here, so with some warmth in the heart, a really sweet base to it, not too clean. It comes off really warm, very like powdery, almost like a lotion in a way, but a very beautiful dry down to this fragrance that lasts like crazy, you guys. This perfume lasts, all right? And that is something that I love. When you spray this fragrance on you, you're constantly like, oh my God, oh, this smells so good. You constantly smell it, and while you're wearing it, you like you kind of catch like whiffs of it. Like I am in love this tropical fruity mango, somewhat mango dominant fragrance in my opinion, and I cannot wait to bask in this fragrance for this summer, you guys. Another fragrance that just like took me all the way out, you guys. I'm talking about Kylie's Young Pistachio Gelato. Oh my lord! 
This is an absolute pleasure. It is a warm, sweet, I want to say, I think there is some hazelnut. I'm getting the hazelnut. There is a very nutty, sweet, creamy, warm vibe to this perfume. And you get the pistachio, but you're getting the pistachio, like the nuts from in the pistachio. Beautiful, intoxicating, classy smelling fragrance. It smells like a very well put together woman who is chick just in the right ways, not you know, doesn't try too hard or try too less or isn't boring, very attractive, just well put together, you guys, and just has like, you know, those attractive features just on point, you know, that kind of way. I am in love with this scent. I will, however, say to you, this is a fairly new, you know, um, fragrance. I recently bought it. I have tried it a very long time ago, but I wore this fragrance. I would say wore it today. Yeah, I wore this fragrance today and she didn't linger. She didn't linger, okay? So it is a scent that I think you're gonna have to like spray and spray and spray. I wanna say Eden Juicy Apple still has a bit more longevity than gelato so far, you guys. But it is an absolutely beautiful, a stunning smelling fragrance in my opinion. So this is Kylie's Young Pistachio Gelato 33. This next fragrance is a fairly new release and I am absolutely in love. I'm talking about Blue Moon Ginger Dash, you guys. Be prepared to see this fragrance all over my channel for the whole summer because am I in love with this perfume? I love, 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 love the way this fragrance smells. It has in notes of lemon and cologne in the top. In the middle, we have ginger and vodka. And in the base, you have some ambroxan and some white musk. It smells like, it has like a sim, like slight resemblance to roses on ice, okay? It has this citrusy enveloping like juniper berry or berry like sweetness to it it's a little bit sweet a little bit bubbly i would want to say it is slightly ozonic but there is like a mild like um berry like sweetness in this fragrance that comes off very refreshing it's a really beautiful fragrance especially in the heart and in the dry down it dries down really warm and I want to say it sweetens up a little bit and it's really pretty and it has a slight powdery vibe to it. You guys, this is actually sexy. You definitely get the vodka as well. The vodka, you, you, def you actually get the smell of vodka. Like when you open the vodka and you smell it, you get the vodka-esque smell in the fragrance, you guys. I am in love and I can't believe, I don't know how this scent smells sexy to me because um killian fragrances usually tend to come off a little bit like um borderline unisex but this actually smells sexy and it wears really nice now the projection on this is very very impressive okay when you wear this fragrance it heats up on the skin it actually projects like crazy i want to say Killian probably wasn't done with roses on ice and probably wasn't happy with how y'all felt about roses on ice. And I would say he developed on it a lot more because again, this has slight resemblance to rose on ice, but he perfected it. The projection, the longevity. Again, there is something in here also that comes off like juniper berries in my opinion. I don't know if it's a caldone or whatever, but I'm getting that vibe. And all I know, this fragrance is an absolute pleasure. This is going to wear beautifully on hot summer days you guys so this is blue moon ginger dash by killian next up is an absolute favorite of mine you guys it is a fairly new release but this is like one of my favorite discoveries this year and i'm talking about blush by carolina herrera this is another fragrance be prepared to hear about this fragrance all summer long because i am in love this fragrance opens up with top notes of bergamot and mandarin orange in the middle you get notes of peony rose water ylang ylang in the base you got some vanilla and tonka bean and for me what you get is you get the essence of the mandarin orange and mandarin orange combining with bergamot has never ever been enjoyed in such a way it is a citrusy bright burst of the mandarin orange mixing with the bergamot so it's a little bit sharp it comes off musky there is um some sweetness to this fragrance definitely some sweetness mixing with a powder in it so you're getting the vanilla in the base and i think there is yeah you're getting the vanilla in the base. I'm not getting a lot of the tonka bean because it's not a rich sweetness. It's actually coming up a little bit like, like soft, in my opinion. Now, I describe this fragrance as musky. 
nobody can tell me that there isn't um you know some musk one a musk in this fragrance it definitely comes out very musky now on fragrantica is described as a warm spicy a little bit aromatic vanilla sweet citrusy scent and i'm thinking that's what it is there are some spices in this fragrance and some aromatic touches in the heart of this scent and obviously they didn't list it and we're picking it up so every time i hear people describe this fragrance they mention that it's musky because we know we're getting some musk in here and it's actually the most appealing side to this fragrance but i'm guessing it's some spices with you know some aromatic um touches in the heart that's creating somewhat of a musky vibe either way you put it i love this fragrance and i think they did this release absolute justice i don't know how they did it but um a flanker or a very good god that smells similar to very good god but still such so much more captivating and beautiful in its own regard i don't know how they did it is an absolutely stunning smelling fragrance you guys so this is carolina herrera blush and last but by no means least is one of the most recent releases and this is ingenious ginger by gold field and banks you guys uh you guys know how i feel about gold field and banks um i heard about this release like briefly heard about this release and it just i it motivated me to get my behind up to selfridges to make sure that i get my nose on this baby and i was absolutely sold you guys let me give you guys the notes right quick it has in top notes of ginger flower bergamot and lemon and in the heart we have some middle notes of mandarin orange magnolia jasmine and rose and the base you have some vanilla cashmere amber sandalwood patchouli and moss this is a beautiful i would say ingenious is a very suitable name it is a citrusy a citrusy white floral i want to say a little bit ambery smelling fragrance okay the ginger in here so it is a there's a hint of spice but it's drowned out. The spices is drowned out by the citrusy elements from the mandarin and the bergamot, in my opinion. It is sweet. It is pretty. You're getting the florally elements in the heart of this perfume. And the ginger just smells so nice. It smells exquisite. It smells expensive. And it's a very, like, refreshing fragrance. This is going to wear very, very beautifully in the high heat. The citrus in here, so I just find it to be very captivating, combining with the ginger. This is a very beautiful, soft, mellow, spicy, ginger, musky smelling fragrance, you guys. And I am absolutely in love. It smells exquisite. It's like, it has a nice dose of sweetness. It's not that drastically sweet, but it's a really pretty gold scent. Like I said to you guys in the beginning of the video, all these scents are pretty gold summer fragrances. And I cannot wait to bask in every single one of these beautiful scents for this summer. So there you have it, you guys. These are my top 10 summer fragrances for 2023. I do hope you guys enjoy these selections. Please let me know in the, you know, comment section what are your favorite scents for this year 2023 uh, there are a lot of new fragrances on the scenes okay this has been the year of new releases even more than last year and there have been some bangers you guys there has definitely been some bangers. Oh, there you go. These are my top 10 summer fragrances. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. If in fact you did, please give me a very big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, please don't leave before you hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. I have a full week for you guys. A full week of fragrances lined up. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And yeah. Follow me for more fragrance videos and reviews. Until next time, see you guys in my next video. Bye.